We recently traveled to New Jersey to attend one of golf's fastest growing disciplines, the World Long Drive Tour. With the 2018 World Championships coming up at the end of the month, the player who currently sits atop the rankings and won the title last year gave us the inside track on the explosive world in which he operates. Number one in the world! Let me hear it for the snapping turtle! It's very dynamic. That's a word that's needed in golf right now. I think it's the most athletic element of golf. It's the fastest ball in sports, any, any sport in the world. Long Drive has come a long way and boasts a successful circuit. It's loud, brash and far removed from your typical round of golf. It's eight balls in three minutes. And that's not the rhythm of the game, man. You know, you can't go through a routine, you can't set up. I mean, it's often a challenge. Sometimes you're lined up wrong and you're like, I gotta go. Let's see if he can match it up. That one's gonna catch wow, the grid. Wow, that A little one. low on the club face, but that <laughs> might just do it. We'll see I where like it lands, Jerry, and yeah. wow, it carries 370. So Justin Seven. James Seven. on ball number six, 374, and that is it. Now when the clock's running, when people are screaming in your ear, when the music's blaring, you got a lot of things working to get you going, going, going. Very easy to get out of rhythm, and very easy when you're up there to lose it and not be able to find it. There's a lot of things that, uh, that go into it, obviously. Even at the tour level, a guy like Webb Simpson, his ball speed's 160, but his launch is good, his spin is perfect, so they're maximizing everything. They do it on the tour, that's what we're trying to do here as, uh, as well. James was able to do just that at the 2017 World Long Drive Championships in Oklahoma. He blasted the ball more than 430 yards to land the prized winner's belt. And then he produced one of the more memorable celebrations the game has seen in recent times. His unsuspecting wife became heavily involved in the raucous scenes, whether she liked it or not. I had to see my wife because I love her. We got married last July. She's super hot and uh, it's my babe. Look, you work real hard to win. So when you do win, you may as well enjoy it because, you know, they don't come that often. You're going to lose most of the time in whatever sport you're in, right? You, you got to enjoy it while you can. And uh, I tried my best to enjoy it. So. Justin's a superb athlete who gave up a career as a professional baseball player for golf. His father and coach Jerry is responsible for his impressive genes. Among his many sporting achievements, James Sr. was a two-time world long drive champion in the Masters division. He's a lot cooler than me. I mean, so, Mr. California bodybuilding champion, um, WWE for a few years. They actually, not a lot of people know, he signed to play professional football in the USFL. But then he decided when he was like 30, he wants to play professional golf. At, right after he won the Mr. California, they say, you're crazy, you can't do that. Kept taking lessons. This thing called long drive came up. So he started doing that on the side to make money. And yeah, he ended up playing the US Open. He's a PGA uh, professional and uh, one of the best teachers in, in North Florida now. James is often asked, could any of the long bombers on the PGA Tour keep pace with the stars of long drive? He's impressed by the likes of Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy, and Bubba Watson, but at the end of the day, it comes down to simple maths. If DJ said, hey man, I want to take two years off and become the world long drive champion, um, I think he may be able to be competitive, right? But um, you know, you're talking you know, a ball speed of 180, some guys on tour are 160, it just doesn't match up with 220. Right, so um, you know that's the that's the difference. The reigning champion is sure of one thing: world long drive has definitely arrived. The discipline prides itself on attracting a new audience, and he has a simple message for those considering attending some live long drive. I would encourage people to see it in person because you, know, you can see it on TV, but you, when you hear it and when you see the ball fly, it's it's pretty unreal. These guys out here.